when one pan can work as a frying pan, as a saucepan, and as a baking pan, well, wouldn't it be your favorite pan to have in the galley also? Hi, I'm Nika Waters, and welcome to the Boat Galley. I'm talking about a saute pan, or maybe I should say I'm singing the praises of mine. It's definitely my favorite pan for the galley. Today's episode of the Boat Galley podcast is sponsored by Captain Suki Cannon and Shambhala Sailing Adventures. Want to sample the liveaboard lifestyle before committing to it? Captain Suki Cannon at Shambhala Sailing Adventures has the experience just for you. Explore Bahamas paradise while enjoying Captain Suki's easygoing teaching style. Shambhala Sailing, way more than just a charter. Use coupon code SAILPARADISE for 10% off your next adventure. Check ShambalaSailingAdventures.com to learn more. Let's go sailing! Well, of course, part of sailing and the liveaboard lifestyle involves cooking. And I don't know about you, but even in a big galley, space is still limited. So looking for pots and pans that actually can do the work of more than one particular trick, that's a great thing to have. And on Calypso, that pan for me, that pot pan, I don't even know what you want to call it. I guess it's both a pot and a pan. It's my saute pan. And basically a saute pan is like either a really squat Dutch oven or a straight-sided skillet. I'm not sure how you want to describe it, but those are kind of the things that I think of when I think of my saute pan. Mine is a 10-inch stainless steel saute pan with a tight-fitting lid. I've had it for almost 30 years. It was a wedding present. And it has been on the boat with me ever since. I love this pan. It can be a skillet. Yeah, it's a little bit tough because the straight sides make it harder to get into the edges when you're putting a spatula in. You've got to give it a little bit more room on the sides than you would with a regular sloped skillet. But you can fry up whatever you want in this pan and off you go. It can also be a saucepan. I love this thing because I'll often make up a batch of spaghetti sauce in the pan and then add a little bit more water throw the pasta right into the same saute pan and I cook my pasta or my rice in that saute pan without having to dirty up another dish. It also can be a baking pan. My pan fits in the oven, handle and all, and because the lid is also fully metal, if I need to have it covered, which is where the Dutch oven analogy comes in, I can put that skillet, that saute pan, directly into the oven. So I love the versatility of this pan. I love the fact that I can make things like frittatas that go from the stovetop to the oven, that aforementioned pasta where I get the sauce ingredients simmering and then I go cook the pasta right in the pan. The same thing happens with rice dishes, making kind of a chicken and rice dish right in that pan. I can use it to make a deep dish pizza if I want to. I love that I save on space. I save on cleanup. I love that it's stainless steel and so I can attack it with hard scrubby things after it's soaked because actually it fits in my sink to soak, which is great. I do have space on the boat for more than one pan. But this pan, I find myself reaching for almost every single day. People will use a cast iron pan for the same kind of heavy duty use. And yes, cast iron skillets work on a boat. The thing, you just have to keep it well seasoned. That's it. But most of the people that I know who have cast iron on board, they have no issue with it rusting at all because they keep it well seasoned, which is what you need to do anyway with cast iron. So find your favorite pot pan, whatever you want to call it, and make sure you don't leave home without it. For me, that's my trusty saute pan, and I love it, love it, love it. 
I can't wait to share an anchorage with you and learn all about what your favorite pan is in the galley because, hey, I might get ideas on how I can use my saute pan in even more ways that I haven't yet thought about. Thank you for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love hearing from our listeners. We love it when you tell your friends about us. And we love it when you don't forget to subscribe. Two of these episodes come out every single week. Have a great one.